When performing a pre-procedural assessment it is important to assess the calcium in the aortic root. Relevant information is where the calcium is located. Is it on the annulus, on the leaflets, or in the left ventricular outflow tract? But also the distribution of the calcium, is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? For the approach route, it is important to know how much calcium there is in the aorta. The software has different views that can be used to get a good overview of the calcium. The right top viewport shows a maximum intensity projection in the shape of a hockey puck. Because calcium has a high intensity this is clearly visible. The hockey puck can be rotated for easy assessment of the calcium. When we rotate to an on-face view, we can assess if there is calcium on the leaflets, and if so, if it is on the commissures or on the outside of the leaflets. The position of the hockey puck can be changed by moving the cursor line. When we move superior we can assess if there is calcium near the coronaries. We can also create a perpendicular view when rotating the hockey puck. You can also use the yellow dot to move the position of the hockey puck. In this way, we can see if there is calcium on the annulus and if there is any calcium in the left ventricular outflow tract. The height and the radius of the hockey puck can be adjusted by clicking on the tools icon in the upper right corner. When creating a screenshot of the hockey puck, the amount of calcium can easily be indicated. In the infographic of the report, we also have the option to indicate the severity of the calcium. Go to the report, click on aortic valve calcification and choose one of the options. For a closer inspection of the calcium, use the perpendicular view or the stretched vessel view. To assess the calcium in ascending aorta and arch, change the hockey puck view to the calcifications view.